Hello, I'm Simit Chandel for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We've launched a new app quality section in our Android developer site to keep you up to date with key aspects of app quality and provide related resources. In the first release, we've updated the core app quality checklist to take into account recent Android releases as well as the current trends of the app ecosystem. Click through to the post for an intro video and all the highlights from this release. The number one request we hear from Kotlin developers is to make builds faster, which is why we're excited to announce the alpha of Kotlin symbol processing. KSP is an all new tool for building lightweight compiler plugins in Kotlin. It offers similar functionality to KAPT, however, it's up to two times faster, offers direct access to Kotlin compiler features, and is being developed with multi-platform compatibility in mind. Check out the post for links to a KSP Playground project and everything else you need to get started. As the number and diversity of services in your deployment grows, it becomes challenging to maintain an inventory of all the services across an organization. Service Directory, now generally available, helps simplify the problem by allowing you to easily register these services to a single fully managed registry. This brings benefits like human-friendly service naming and annotations for additional properties like experimental or HIPAA compliant. Head over to the post for all the details and a link to the documentation. Go version 1.16 has been released. This version makes it easy to bundle supporting data files into your Go programs with a new embed package. It adds support for Mac OS ARM64, also known as Apple Silicon, and adds a bunch of other improvements and bug fixes, which you can read about in the release notes. The growing ubiquity of 3D sensors like LiDAR and depth sensing cameras has created a need for scene understanding technology that can process data these devices capture. That's why we're releasing TensorFlow 3D, a library that's designed to bring 3D deep learning capabilities into TensorFlow. TF3D contains training and evaluation pipelines for state-of-the-art 3D semantic segmentation, 3D object detection, and 3D instance segmentation with support for distributed training. This post on the Google AI blog gives a ton of info about the framework, plus a link to the GitHub repo if you wanna try it out for yourself. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Samit for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. This is your weekly update for the coolest news on The Developer Show. Yeah, just 15 more times, please. <laughs>